everybody, Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Anime Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind, aka Part 5, Episode 1 titled Golden Wind. So, um, I gotta tell you, Nerdigans, I, I just witnessed something really awful. Uh, with um, Hinamaru Zumo episode one. Oh my god, that it, it, I don't know what the fuck I was watching, but that was not Hinamaru Zumo. And so, man, do I really need some JoJo in my life right now? And plus, the best part about this is that the era of Geo is here, and I, also I've been waiting forever for part five to be adapted. So if it's anything like I've been witnessing with Captain Tsubasa 2018. Oh, David Productions, I am really ready for this. My body is ready for this. So without further ado, let's get to the episode, which is going to be the adaptation of Chapter 1 of the manga. Okay, um, this part isn't here in the manga, but you know what? I'm down with it because we get to see my boy Gio. Oh my god. Um, and we get to see him walk in the streets of Naples, which is awesome. I'm, I'm liking this so far. This is, I, I'm, I totally don't mind this. This is okay with me. You know what? I'm just gonna roll with this. I, the animation is beautiful. But, and I like that we're seeing, uh, um, Gio already. And I'm liking that we're seeing his stand, it, it, which looks freaking cool. I'm loving this so far. But we'll see... Uh, Oh man, I'm just like, hmm, do I want to keep going or rage drop? But I don't think I want to rage drop right now. I'm going to wait and see. Finally, we're at the start of chapter uh, one's adaptation of the manga, which is like at the four minute, uh, 17 second mark. Um, and uh, I am, t I... So far, I am just like, okay, David Productions, what are you doing? But I'm just gonna roll with this because I trust David Productions. Um, I will say this though, the animation looks fantastic, but I gotta tell I, I gotta tell you, I think the fact that um, David Productions is doing both Captain Tsubasa 2018 and JoJo this season, I think the writing might have gotten affected just a wee little bit. Um, but I could be wrong, but that's my guess. Because I'm telling you, Captain Tsubasa was just freaking phenomenal this week. So, um, not sure, Dave Productions. I'm going to just keep going. Oh, Gio folding his ear looks awesome. Okay, I'm going to give you a pass so far for not, uh, for the writing. Because this looks really freaking cool. Um, but yes, we are, we are definitely in Chapter 1's adaptation now. Oh my god. So far, uh, um... I'm just rolling with it. The beginning, I'm not a huge fan of, but woo! No, this is this is what I'm talking about here. Now, this is my JoJo uh, Bizarre Adventure Part Five. I was waiting for. Oh yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Gio, I love you. Um. Oh, that was oh, that was so freaking cool. Um. Oh my god. Koichi, you got played. You just got your baited, yo. And I love it. This is, uh, this is, mm. I'm, I'm happy right now. This is my JoJo. This is my, this is my part five that I've been waiting for. Oh, man, there's a double debate, and I forgot about this, that Koichi fucks with Geo like this, and I love it. Oh, my God, the animation is beautiful. Um, I, I'm, this is typical JoJo. I'm down. Okay, I don't care about the right right now. This looks awesome. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, the bomb. Woo, it looks great. A little bit before the eight-minute mark is when we start with uh, going into Chapter 2, but... Based on what I'm seeing so far here, especially like what we just uh, like um, at the eight minute five second um, five second mark, we're definitely going to be ja jumping back to chapter one. So I'm I'm totally fine with this day of productions as long as you're giving me the content. I don't give a fuck about the order of the scenes. I really don't. Just give make sure the the lore is the same. Make sure that we at least have the events of the manga up in here, and I am down. You know what? Um. Day of Productions, what, the fact that, we're, that we saw Luca a little bit sooner than we were supposed to, supposed to, I, usually I would be pissed. I would. But, the thing that's good about, um, that scene in particular is, um, is we find out how, 
uh, Luca um, knew about Geo. So I'm totally fine with this, David Productions. Oh, thank you, David Productions. Oh my God, the comic book style is awesome. I'm glad we're getting this in here. Um, it looks it looks freaking fantastic. I animation is just goddamn nice, and you know, and I'm I'm really warming up to the writing. This is this is good. This is good, JoJo. There it is. There's Dio. Yeah. Oh my god, the action is so fluid. It is oh my god, this animation is just fantastic. This is what uh, I'm gonna say this right now. This is what Hinamaru Zumo was lacking. Um, for those of you that are trying to understand why the fuck I didn't like Hinamar Zumo. I'm talking about this fluidity. It is beautiful. For those of you that are curious, um, these backgrounds we're seeing up in here and also the animation style, like, or the, I should say, not just the animation style, the various, um, animation techniques that we're getting up in here so far, and this is, like, within the first 10 minutes, it's def- uh, uh, you see it in Captain Tsubasa 2018. So, um, if you love this animation style like I do, um, go watch Captain Tsubasa 2018. David Productions has been amazing with Captain Tsubasa 2018. There it is! Oh, man, it looks awesome! The, um... Oh, God. When Dio... Or not Dio. Why did I say Dio? When Gio says that, the, you know, that any attacks um, direct towards it, uh, towards it will be reflected back in, in death. And it's... Oh, my God. This is beautiful. Oh, David Productions, you are doing a fantastic job with this animation. And it's, it's giving me... Um, reassurance that, uh, the quality for JoJo is not going to be affected by, uh, Captain Tsubasa 2018. Because, remember, they're doing both at the same time. Oh, see, the frog transformed back into the suitcase looks so freaking cool. I love this. So, after the commercial break, which is, like, a, um, a little bit before the 12, uh, minute mark, um, we get, we jump back to um chapter one like i knew we were going to and we're starting at about page five of uh chapter one's adaptation here so at about like the 12 um i want to say the 12 minute uh 48 second mark or a little bit before yeah 12 minute 48 second mark we get to um ch uh chapter three's adaptation of the manga like we're primarily starting on page five of uh chapter three I love when Gio says that, um, he mentions that he sold off his, uh, luggage. No, I'm talking, or sold off, um, Koichi's luggage. But no, a thing I want to talk about, though, is that shot of when Gio, um, says, don't follow me anymore. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my god, Gold Experience looks so beautiful. Oh my freaking god. It looks gorgeous. And this is at, like, the 14, um, about starting, like, at the 14 minute, uh, 14 minute mark roughly and oh god gold experience looks so beautiful i'm so happy that gold experience looks great oh, this, oh it's so beautiful oh my god when when um geo stan goes in, when gold experience does it shit i'm loving this i'm loving the the payback this is just awesome i oh this is so beautiful geo walks away and this is after Koichi mentions that he's a, that Gio is a stand user. And this is like um, a little bit into the 15 minute mark. Oh, the soundtrack is so eerie and I love it. Oh my God. Like, oh, pause. Oh my God. This, this, the writing is so perfect now. Like it took a little bit to get there, but the writing is goddamn perfect. I'm really enjoying it this episode i it's crazy that i don't have that much to say so far about about th this episode of jojo it's nuts because usually i have a lot to say about captain Tsubasa 2018 but not that much about jojo it's weird but um basically uh let me just make um i'm up to the 20 minute mark right now when so far we're doing fantastic oh right at the like 20 minute uh 40 second mark roughly when um when like G that with that close-up when Gio's sweating a little bit that red backdrop is beautiful oh, my! oh it's so creepy oh! oh it's so creepy oh the soundtrack is just getting better and better oh my god but i'm, I'm gonna say this about the soundtrack right now is it's definitely 
different than uh, Captain Tsubasa 2018. And um, that's definitely something that's going to be happening throughout JoJo. Um, my JoJo live reactions is I'm going to definitely be co uh, comparing it to Captain Tsubasa 2018. And vice versa with Captain Tsubasa 2018, I'm going to start comparing it to Golden Wind because David Productions is working on both of them. And I got to say, the soundtrack in, in JoJo so far especially compared to Captain Tsubasa 2018, is a little bit underwhelming because something that um, Captain Tsubasa 2018 has that JoJo doesn't have, especially with the soundtrack, is the way it flows is a little bit better. So I'm very curious um, uh, how the sound... Uh, I'm, I'm a little concerned about the soundtrack because there's I have high expectations for the soundtrack, but um, for right now, I'm just going to roll with it. I will say this, the sound, now the soundtrack is starting to pick up a little bit. Now that Gio's getting his ass, you know, got punched in the face. Or actually, I should say, ever since, you know, the eyeball uh, came into play, um, or came into the scene, that, or I should say, Luca's eyeball, um, the soundtrack is definitely picked up. It's a little, it's a lot better. Oh, boy, Bruno! Oh, my God! I can't believe I forgot Bruno's name for a second. But, jeez, I'm glad. Now, uh, thank you, David Productions, for reminding me. Um, who Bruno is? Uh, I covered way I, I cover way too many series, so you gotta excuse me. But um, I'm really digging this. This is uh, oh Bruno's voice actor is perfect. Uh, Geo's voice actor is goddamn fantastic. I love it so much. And I, I will say this, um, because up until now, um, I've been only watching the English dub. And, man, I'm sorry. This Japanese dub is so good. I like Jotaro's voice in Japanese a lot more than in the English dub. Even though they do sound familiar and it's really good. But, damn. J um, Jotaro sounds so much better in Japanese. Oh! The finger's coming out of Gio's mouth! Oh, it's so gross! So, at this point when the eyeball rolls were definitely in chapter 5, then we also finished up uh, chapter 4's adaptation as well. I'm sorry, I didn't mention that. I'm just getting really into this anime. It's just great. Um, but yeah, we're definitely in chapter 5's adaptation. Um, and it starts when, like, the eyeball rolls. And it is just freaking fantastic. And I love it. And I should be more specific. It's page, it starts on page 11 of chapter 5. God, seeing like the zipper go up more, and this is like um a, a little bit after a 23 minute mark. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's so creepy! Oh, that frame at the 23 minute, like 21, 22 second mark with Bruno. Oh, <laughs> this is the day of productions I definitely know and love, and I love this. So roughly, we're ending um at about uh chapter six. Or the start of chapter six of um, the manga, and I'm gonna say this right now: the writing. Uh, you definitely changed my mind, David Productions, as um, the anime progressed. I really like the filler that we got at the very beginning of um, the episode. It was perfect. It was definitely beautiful foreshadowing. Um, do I mind that a lot of the narration was skipped? I kind of am annoyed that they didn't at least mention it was 2001. And, you know, like, it was, um, uh, like, three years after the events of, um, of part four, I believe? Um, but, yeah, that's what it said. Um, but other than the narration up, uh, especially about, like, the time, um, or, like, the year that, uh, um, that this manga or slash series, uh, of part of the series takes place, I really enjoyed the writing. The writing was fantastic. I'm, because, you see, to an extent, I am not a complete purist. And I totally understand why, because this manga has, like, a shit ton of chapters, and we're only getting 39 episodes, so I totally understand why a lot of content would be skipped. I'm, I'm fair, I completely understand. Um, animation-wise, animation looks great. It's very typical David Productions to, um, or I should say very typical JoJo. Um, I'm hoping that, uh, they're gonna put a little bit more, um, of some of the effects that we've seen in Captain Tsubasa 2018 here as well, because I can definitely see some of it, um, uh, and some of it in JoJo Part 5, and it would look great. 
Voice acting is goddamn fantastic. Geo sounds like Geo. And also, he looks like Geo. And it is, it is nice. And also, the stay, oh, um, gold experience looks fantastic. I love the look of gold experience. It is beautiful. Um, soundtrack wise, um, that's been, that's like my only problem with this episode is the soundtrack is a little bit underwhelming, uh, compared to, um, what David Productions has been giving us with Captain Tsubasa 2018. Um, it took a little bit, especially a little bit for it to pick up, but damn it, when it did pick up, it was, it was beautiful. So, so far, I would say the only thing that's being maybe affected by Captain Tsubasa 2018, cause again, they're doing both um captain Tsubasa 2018 and jojo this season is i'm leaning towards maybe the soundtrack being affected more than anything but so far it, it is great um so what i'm hoping for uh going uh, overall for this season is soundtrack wise for those of you that are curious um a lot of the stands are named in this uh, arc are named after rock songs and i want when those stands come into play I want that music. I want that song up in there. Because it would be... Because that's what I pictured in my head when I was reading part five. But um, anyway, I'm really curious what you guys uh, thought of this episode. Um, I definitely needed this episode. I definitely needed this episode of JoJo compared to what I just witnessed with Hina Marazumo. And now I got one more anime that I'm going to be covering right after this. And... Well, and no one's talking about this anime, so it's, uh, so I'm really excited for it that I get to talk about it. Anyway, um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Dirty Kids Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something on my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you um, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!